dear students today we are going to take our one more pa more part of the limnology that is lake and its zonation before studying each and everything about a lake we should be knowing that what are the zones present in a lake first of all we should be knowing that what a lake is how lake is defined we define lake as the large body of standing water lacking continuity with sea and having an area of open relatively deep water sufficient enough to produce somewhere in periphery a wave swept shore <clears throat> so this is the actual definition of a lake lake ek bahut bada pani ka zakhira hai जो समंदर की सतह के साथ मेल नहीं खाता है मगर इतना डीप होता है इतना गहरा गहरा होता है कि उसमें एक लहर पैदा हो सके शोर से हम इस तरह से इसको डिफाइन करते हैं और अगर हम पॉन्ड की डेफिनेशन इसके साथ में जोड़ें तो पॉन्ड एक शेलो वाटर बॉडी है वो डीप नहीं होती है वो लार्ज भी नहीं होती है बहुत ज्यादा और ज्यादातर पॉइंट्स मैन मेड होते हैं और उनमें वेव स्वेप्ट शोर नहीं होता है लेट एस नो अबाउट दी जोन्स ऑफ अ लेंटिक वाटर बॉडी लेंटिक वाटर आर जनरली डिवाइडेड इनटू थ्री जोन्स आर सब हैबिटेट्स वी call them as the littoral zone limnatic zone profundal zone but many times various other zones can also be named such as sub littoral zone or light compensation point then we do have the uh, photic zone we do have the aphotic zone then we do have the um, different layers of a water body that is epilimnion then hypolimnion and then metalimnion to know about the littoral limnatic and profund profundal regions let us have a quick look at this very diagram wherein this from this very point onwards up to the presence of the rooted vegetation we call this very area as the littoral zone so the area up to which the plants are present they are called as the littoral this is called as the littoral zone the plants can be emergent plants the plants can be floating plants and they can be submerged plants so we do have the zone of emergent vegetation we do have the zone of floating vegetation and we do have the zone of the submerged vegetation but in total this very zone where in the rooted vegetation is present we call this very zone as the we call this very zone as the littoral zone now the second one limnatic zone this very zone wherein it has no touch with that of the rooted vegetation but it is a open water body away from the shore this very zone is called as the limnatic zone and the third zone the lower most part of the lake wherein it is also called as a lake bottom where in light the cannot reach there is no almost no vegetation there is almost no productivity this very zone where in which is very much deficient in light it is called as the profundal zone this very zone is called as the profundal zone now this is the point what you are seeing here that the point up to which up to which 
the light can penetrate so this is the point up to which the light can penetrate and below it it is the darker region it is the extent up to which the visibility is there we call this very point as the light compensation level herein the productivity is equal to the rate of the respiration so it means p over r is equal to 1 here so productivity and respiration they are almost equal so we have got to know that the littoral zone up to where the rooted vegetation can be found this is the place this is the open water area so this is the open water area and this is the deeper water which is called as the profundal zone open water limnetic zone rooted vegetation littoral zone littoral zone can be divided into the zone of the zone of emergent vegetation then zone of floating vegetation then zone of submerged vegetation and many a times many a times this very part which is the where the profundal zone is in connection with the littoral zone this very part is many a times called as sub littoral zone this is called as sub littoral zone now let us talk one by one in detail let us talk about the littoral zone first of all the nekton of the littoral zone is often rich in species and numbers adult and the larval diving beetles and various adult hemiptera are conspicuous here in this very zone whereas diptera larva pupae remain suspended in water and often near the surface pond fish frogs turtles and water snakes are almost exclusively the member of the littoral zone that pools of the frogs are important primary consumers which feed on algae and other plant material when we talk about the periphyton of the littoral zone it exhibits a zonation paralleling that of the rooted plants but many species occur almost throughout the littoral zone among the periphyton forms for example pond snails damsel fly uh, nymphs and climbing um, dragonfly nymphs rotifers flatworms bryozoa hydra and mi midge larva rest on it are are attached to the stems and the leaves of the plants so all those organisms which are attached to some substrate near the littoral zone they are called as the periphyton periphyton we call them off watch as well and they are always they are always attached to a substrate so talking about the limn limnatic zone we have talked about this very limnatic zone earlier but in detail the limnatic zone zone includes all the water beyond the littoral zone and down to the compensation level point so from the littoral zone onwards and up to the level of the compensation of the light we call this very zone as the limnatic zone limnatic zone derives its oxygen content from the photosynthetic activity of phytoplankton and from the atmosphere immediately over the lake surface the third one that is profundal zone the bottom and the deep water area of a lake which is beyond the depth of the effective light penetration it is called as the profundal zone so that very area which is below the um, light compensation point we call this very area as the profundal zone in the north temperate latitudes where the winter are long and severe this zone has the warmest water up to 4 degree centigrade in a lake in winter and coldest water in summer let us have a quick recap again the area which starts from the start of the water with emergent plants then floating plants and then submerged plants that is up to which the rooted vegetation are present this very area is called as the limnatic zone so the area near the shore which ends up to the point 
where the rooted vegetation is found so this very area is called as the littoral zone and secondly that very area which starts from the littoral zone end of the littoral zone and is a open water area and ends to the point where the light compensation level is found so this very part of the lake which extends from the end of the littoral zone and is a open water area up to the light compensation level this very area is called as the limnatic zone the light compensation area up to which the light penetrates up to which the point up to which the light penetrates this is called as the light compensation point so the last one the last one this very this very area which is darker no light almost negligible productivity so this very part is the profundal part now let us understand the zones of the lake in a different manner now again i will be telling you that the zone which is having a rooted vegetation it is limnatic zone so here the rooted vegetation ends that is why here ends the littoral zone and from this very point the open water area starts this is the open water area starts this is the limnatic zone and this is the point where light penetrates up to which the light penetrates it is called as light compensation point lcp so from this point onwards from this point upwards this is called as the limnatic zone and this very point downwards it is called as the profundal zone so this is the profundal zone this is the this is the limnatic zone but on the other hand if we talk it some other way on the basis of the light we can categorize the lake into the photic zone up to which the light penetrates a photic zone where light cannot penetrate or it is the darker region and thirdly on the basis of the temperature the layer of the water which is in contact with the atmospheric temperature it is the epilimnion that is the uppermost layer the middle layer which segregates the lowermost layer from that of the uppermost layer this layer is in between this is called as thermocline and the lowermost layer of the water it is called hypolimnion so this is the thermocline which prevents the mixing of the water during the summer stagnation and winter stagnation in the temperate regions the lantic ecosystems such as lakes and ponds like the oceans are divided into separate zones which are defined by their distance from the sea, uh, from the shore the littoral zone which is closest to the shore is host this very zone it is the host to a wide variety of rooted plants species due to its warm shallow environment whereas this very limnatic zone that is the open water area are the water farther from the shore and dominated by the plankton whereas the deeper regions deeper region of the lake or a pond below the limnatic zone it is called as the profundal zone which contains only heterotrophs littoral and the limnatic zones have a ratio of p over r is greater than 1 it means what does it mean it means the production is greater than respiration in the case of littoral and limnatic zone so in littoral and limnatic zone p over r ratio is greater than 1 so it means p over r ratio is greater than 1 
but what happens in the case of this very light compensation zone p our r is equal to 1 so it means productivity is almost equal to that of the respiration but in the case of profunda zone what happens p over r p over r it is less than 1 it means production is lesser than that of the rate of respiration so the zone of the bottom of the lake so what is the bottom of the lake it rightly starts from this very point this is the bottom of the lake or a pond is termed as the benthic region so the bottom of a lake or a pond is termed as the benthic region the benthic zone is occupied by the communities of organisms which are collectively called as the benthic organisms they can be macrobenthos they can can be microbenthos if they are they are visible only with the help of the microscope we categorize them as the microbenthos if they are can be seen by the naked eye we call them as the macrobenthos the term benthic and the benthos are derived from the greek word which means for depths of the sea that is depths of the sea so life forms in the lentic ecosystem it includes the plankton floating organisms nekton that is the free floating organisms such as fish but in the benthos it includes the bottom dwelling organisms newstone it is a collective term given to the organisms that float on the top new stone that float on the top and so all those organisms which float on the top of the water we call them as the new stone this these very new stone are also categorized into two which uh, flow above the surface which swim above above the surface or which are found above the surface we call them as the epi new stone whereas those organisms which are uh, just below the surface we call them as the hypo new stone so uh, we do have um, other organisms such as periphyton also they are also present in the uh, they are also present the organisms uh, attached to the submerged surfaces so by the end of the lecture we knew that this is the littoral zone this is the limnatic zone this is the profundal zone and secondly in the littoral zone it is divided into the zone of emergent vegetation zone of floating vegetation zone of submerged vegetation and even the bottom if this is the bottom of a lake if this is the bottom of a lake even the bottom of the lake can be divided into the this if this is the bottom of the lake this can be divided into the littoral bottom this is the littoral bottom this is the sub littoral bottom and this is the profundal bottom so the bottom or the benthic region can also be divided into the littoral sub littoral and the profundal bottom and the organisms living in this very bottom layer are called benthic organisms they are usually called as benthos so the uh, phytoplanktons zooplanktons periphyton even the plants can be present in the littoral zone but mostly planktons are present in the limnatic zone and the benthic organisms or benthos are present in the bottom zone so this is the crux of the lecture thank you very much please like and subscribe my channel for the latest videos on the topics of the limnology aquaculture zoology thank you very much.